Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on the Weircraft server. I am Rossos and today I'm starting here because I want to expand my flower farm to include the yellow and uh, purple flowers. Right, that's a major time skip. As you can see, I already finished the farm extension which I even made twice as long. As you can see, I'm now getting dandelions and the purple ones. So that's adding to our collection of the colors, as well as some orange and uh, white. But those are uh, gray uh, dice anyway. So I'm getting poppies, I'm getting allium, which is purple dye. I'm getting orange, tulip, which is orange. Getting azure, which is uh, gray, light gray. Presumably red tulip, which is as well red and uh, white, which is also gray. And now I'm getting also dandelion, which is orange. Uh, unfortunately, as in comparison, uh, the orange dandelions are... Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm blind. Uh, the number overlaps the icon of the... I thought it was seeds. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not bad. So this has been running for a while. As you can see, as soon as it touches, um, um, why is this? Oh, all right, it takes some time to go. Uh, as soon as this touches this, the pulse goes down. Everything gets activated. I also used a lot of light here, so we don't get any spawns. So as soon as it turned, there we go. It touched uh, the end and now everything got activated. Of course, all of this all of this was uh, taken mostly from latest uh, Izuma and Python's, uh, both of their episodes of how they did the flower farm. And I really like how it works. Anyway, as you can see, we have some leaks here. I tried blocking it. Uh, I'm not sure if I should just place more solid blocks on the bottom here. Not really sure. Uh, how they escape or should I break the blocks here um, I still haven't figured it out but I think the loss is minimal a uh, couple of couple of flowers here and there well of course red poppies are we are overflowing with the red poppies because um, they I also get a lot of from the iron farm uh, in any case uh, what I was thinking of doing here was actually since uh, I'm pretty happy of how this turned out and since I expanded so much I was thinking of making an enclosure so we don't get any nasty um, surprises here and there and um, let's say I was thinking about uh, like um, glass lots of glass again <laughs> again lots of glass um, but uh, I still haven't tried anything, so I'm gonna start experimenting and when I have something to show, I'll definitely make a progress update. I believe it's a uh, time for a small progress update. Oh, and of course, rain. <laughs> of course it's a rain. I bet it's thunderstorm, let me see. Yep, it's a thunderstorm. Right, so I've been um, outlining some... Uh, some 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 outlines <laughs> uh, with the uh, stone here stone bricks I believe I come to uh, the general outline what I want to do let me just go a little bit further hopefully no creepers here right so I am I want to do this uh, like um, uh, like a greenhouse so I've made let's see I've made like semi a semi arc here an arc here and as well a semi arc here and the way I did it uh, basically I took the middle I got some blocks in and out and uh, the thing here is that some of it is gonna be somewhat uh, underground as you can see this is gonna be a bit Underground, and of course, on top of here, there is gonna be the glass. 
Now, uh, it's not gonna be, hopefully, not only glass, as I also attempted here some, um, some more uh, stone bricks. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna do a pseudo supports for the visual effect, of course, since since this is this is as it is. Also, I have to remove all of these supporting, well, uh, help help blocks, I guess. Um, I was thinking about uh, making this a little bit thicker, maybe, maybe thicker, but the general outline is here, um, and of course I have no idea what I'm gonna do with all the space here, where it is, all the space here, this is the space, um, this is the level uh, that should be going. So all of this space, uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. Of course, this needs to be also in closed and closed, and maybe, maybe I'll do something like pseudo supports or arcs here as well. But for the time being, this is my general outline, and uh, hopefully, after placing a lot of blocks, oh, this is gonna be more than stacks. I, I bet, I bet it's a stack of glass just for one row now. Um, see, no, there are probably 40 blocks or something. I didn't count much. I know this is, uh, it's 10, 10, 40 blocks. So this pillar to that corner over there, that's, um, 40 blocks. So this must be, might be even more like 50 or something. So yeah, I stuck for a row. Oh yeah, I, I need a lot of glass. Um, right. I'll, uh. I'll continue placing blocks and glass and hopefully coming up with uh, ways of getting some glass and I'll show you what what it uh, transpired into after I have something to show off. Placing the last glass pieces. Well, I hope they are the last. Right. So... Let me fall down, uh, remove these intermediate blocks which I used to go upstairs and let's see what I have here. So this is my uh, greenhouse, let's say, um, instead of a straight uh, cut uh, borders I went with the arcs. Um, essentially they are the bare bone of this structure anyway. So three arcs and this is how it came to be right um, so I also upped the level uh, of the surface let's say uh, running around underneath these farms isn't quite uh, what I was hoping for um, slab stairs here um, it's also even one block higher here I was trying to uh, go with the natural uh, world generation somewhere. Of course, here we have um, uh, unfinished businesses. Uh, I've also incorporated uh, doors in these arcs. I hope they look uh, good. Uh, also, this, because this is the lowest part, uh, I started playing with some decor. Uh, Placing some trapdoors, uh, inspired by bow ties, <laughs> of course. Um, run out of materials uh, eventually, and uh, this is how it looks underneath here. Um, so I haven't touched much here. What I wanted to uh, show you here is that I have a piece of land here, around 20 by 20. Uh, also, there is a spider somewhere. I can hear him. Anyway, 20 by 20 blocks here. Uh, and I was thinking of... I've counted what uh, flowers I'm getting. So, I'm getting eight different types. Uh, white, pink, orange, and red tulips. Four of these. One dand well, dandelion, azure, poppy, and aluminum. So, four. Eight, in total, eight. Um, and I was thinking of actually uh, building uh, the chests here in um, semicircle I'm not quite sure maybe maybe something like this I'm not I'm not really sure 
uh, what I'm doing. <laughs> Just um, brainstorming on camera. So um, eight chests uh, like this and use the magic of having all this space underneath for the redstone and everything. So sorting system and uh, flowers coming up in this chest. So whenever these uh, farms are running, I just come here and I check the chests and the flowers gonna be popping up here. Uh, of course, now that I think there's gonna be a ninth chest for the seeds or should I just store the seeds in the chest somewhere underneath so they don't bother me much. In any case, um, I wanted to show you that this complete greenhouse is now complete. And I was also playing with some carpet here. Um, this is um, uh, lime green. Uh, it kind of hits the eye. Uh, it is colorful, I don't doubt that, but I'm more leaning to this, which is, this is the cactus green, uh, dark green, or, well, cactus green it is, because that's made from cactus anyway. I think it's uh, going with the soft color palette here. You can see we have even transitioned between uh, the forest, uh, the flower forest, and the river biome here uh, you can see it, it it's not very significant but um, maybe maybe it's my imagination anyhow uh, right so I'll uh, see what I can do with this um, chest sorting uh, storage system and I'll show you what I will come up with and hence I went for a supply run. Let's check what our shop is doing. So you remember this special offer thing. And it looks like we have our customer satisfied. Of course, me as well, since I have a lot of gold now. Thanks, I presume it was Bowtai, who is a proud owner of the uh, gold farm on the server. Thank you, Bowtie. I'm sure I will use these gold blocks for my needs. And it looks like we have more customers. Or didn't I collect them before? So this is 24 diamonds from our irons. Well, gunpowder as well. Well, I guess gunpowder is getting used. Uh, well, 36 diamonds and a bunch of gold blocks. Well, this is our shopping experience today. I have to restock all of this and uh, hope for more. <laughs> so, um, skeleton horse. So, will the four horsemen spawn or is it a good horse? Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Superb, superb. Let's see. Can I kill the riders without hitting the horse? All or the luck will kill us. Let's see. Well, guess I can't be good at this unless the horse gonna drown. Ah, uh, no, that's a bad hit. Um, will the horses drown? Well, I guess they will. Um, anyway, we have one horse here, I guess. Hello the horsey. Are you a good horse? I don't have a saddle with me, but I wonder if the other guys will suffocate. I also wonder, are they able to hit me in... Apparently they can somehow Close range I guess Funny thing is if they shoot arrows at me the arrow <laughs> Comes back at them <laughs> Well, oh well Let's see Will they kill themselves basically and how many arrows 
All right. Okay. Will the horse drown now? Uh. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be drowning. Let's see this guy. Okay, he's moving. That's not good. Stop moving. Nah, this is gonna take a while. Let's let's just try and hit him hard. Well, supply of kelp is a good thing, I guess. His bow may have kick. Maybe. Well, this is this is taking a while. Ah, I hit the horse. No, not the horse. Leave the horse alone. Yay. Hello, horse. Stay here. Right. Uh, drowned. We have drowned. Let's see what's the other horse doing. It's sitting there. And the other horse is sitting there as well. So, the thing is, I can bring saddles and get them. However, I'm not exactly sure what I need them for. <laughs> just just a vanity item, I guess. Having a horse. We're using elytras and uh, portals and everything. Kinda reminds you of the same situation in modern life, where you have um, city transportation and cars and everything, airplanes, and uh, it's easier to have, it's cheaper to have a car than having a horse nowadays. Well, I guess times change and uh, old ways are being for forgotten. Anyway, let's get back to some redstone. Right, as you can see here, I've uh, started with the corner, the, um, like spacing. Um, so basically, hopper line, which all the items gonna be flowing through, uh, a typical Impulses V item filter, obviously. Um, still have to put the flowers here. And this is the um, item elevator. The thing here, however, is the following. Um, as you can imagine, this uh, block <laughs> shouldn't have been uh, a shared block. So this is a 3x3, three three, 6 um, uh, blocks uh, footprint and this as well and they intersect with one redstone block over here um, the curious my curiosity is tingling uh, I just want to know if this gonna impact our uh, item flow in a sense even if these blocks gets triggered I guess um the elevator should continue pumping even if they pump on empty it doesn't really matter i hope um what i have on top here is basically this is another dropper here underneath the chest and one here so you can see this is uh, uh this is the line and of course where are the all the flowers let's let's just go and drop the flowers in i think that's gonna be the easiest thing so where are we uh let's grab a stack of orange and a stack of white i guess uh and here even here uh if you see this um so this is one two three the chest is here um presumably it is here yes should be here uh, where the one, two, three. Yep, the chest is here, so that's not gonna intervene with this. Uh, so, long story short, still have to put some filter in. Uh, let's see. Okay, this started pumping. Uh, and let's see what's gonna happen with this. Well, it looks like stuff is happening. 41 41 is this the amount that should have been left 41 I'm not quite sure I think I hope um, let's see what's happening here so 7 
and seven. Well, at least it's even. However, how how many did I drop? I'm pretty sure I dropped uh, a full stack, 64. So if 40. Oh, right. Um, yeah, I remember the problem where I was testing it. So basically, uh, in order for the item level to work properly, um, meaning uh, being extended. Uh, this is the base design. It's just the item uh, dispenser. I would I would using I was using with the chicken and the uh, the fishing farm. This dispense item into destruction basically. However, this torch here is not gonna work unless uh, basically this whole thing uh, well, wrong way. This the torch is gonna be having a burnout issues if I don't put this at least on two ticks. So uh, essentially I hope all of these items are stuck here. Yeah, there they are, there they are. Um, let's try this again. Uh, and hopefully the torch won't burn out from the two uh, of these. So let's put the items back and watch the torches. So the torches seems to be working as well as this is rather silent any items left here anyway uh, 41 here so 41 64 41 uh, what 13 20 23 23 items and we have 21 why do we have 21 we have one here one stuck here one here, 21, uh, we're still missing, missing some items. So we found the one, where are the, here. Okay, so I guess this needs to be more secure. Uh, however, why, why do we have items in that hopper there? Presumably, it should have allowed the item to go in. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I'll continue doing this. As you can see, I had to dig down two blocks down. And of course, when I come here, I need to make a proper arrangements with the extension of this mechanism. So I'll finish all of this up, uh, try to figure out where the problem is and... Uh, See you in a bit. Right, as you can see, all of these are chests, unmarked chests, which I should solve. All of these are droppers, and the exciting thing is that this thing started to work. Uh, I just uh, connected all the hoppers, nothing. Um, came up much um, what I did here apart from this I also moved the portal here made it a little bit more symmetrical and cleaned up this mess here which was jumpy jumpy uh, of course this you know I kind of like it uh, open open redstone of course on the other hand I made some glass enclosure for this but nevertheless let's go downstairs of course I have to get myself more uh, how do you call it uh, this glowy glowstone so I can remove all the torches for the time being torches are uh, as you can see this is the hopper lines uh, I left the chest here in case of maybe maybe something when goes bad overflowing or anything uh, as well as the chest here, which you can see is emptying, and things here are kind of packed. Um, these are the chests that were here, so I moved them a little bit. Of course, you can see all of this hopper line goes down this direction. Ah, I should should start putting all of this in the hopper lines as well. And this is the main hopper where everything converges. Let's say. Um, 
because there are two hopper lines so the ends there meet and they come this way and of course that end over there is this hopper line and the last but not least this end just goes into there as well with the chest you can see things are going kind of crazy here um presumably some of these are i hope this didn't burn out i uh, really hope this didn't burn out yet because it needed two ticks two ticks everywhere uh of course i kind of underestimated my space requirements so you can see this is the external wall and this is my last block I'm not quite sure what to do with this yet. I kind of just went ahead and completed the redstone so I can see what's going on here. Um, but the thing is, kind of getting a little bit. Oh, there we go. It's it, it definitely works. Something is pumping up, so um, things should be working. Of course, if I find out something doesn't quite work it's probably one of my repeaters in the wrong ticks uh, i found this my nemesis this uh, <laughs> this season is that the um, repeaters i definitely mess up their timings now and then um right so long story short uh this is kind of needs a little bit uh, finishing touches here as well as this open space uh, you can see hostile mobs kind of see us but I don't wanna leave this like an open extra hanging block so I might um, do some it's, uh, I wonder I wonder I wonder if the redstone gonna be connected I'll just place one block here and do it like this will this be okay let's see uh, yeah this is not this is not uh, really for moving around let's see looks like it's still connected however we'll close up the wall here eventually so if we go with this thing I'm just gonna have one block over there of course i can always uh hello there i can always neglect this and leave it as it is uh, or place some uh, leaves outside of it of course here this walls needs to be continued most definitely so let's let's uh let's see uh nothing is pumping in anymore that was it um are you sure are you sure that was it uh all right um first of all this hopper is wrong very lovely very lovely second of all this is the chest and the hopper line is here so yeah kind of missing a hopper uh, let me just quickly go around and place a hopper uh, let's get some hoppers just in case lovely number 13 okay let's let's start this flowing item conveyor going uh, and the man is enjoying our rain free environment let's see what we have here here we have red tulips here we have pink tulips white tulips orange tulips well uh, not much yet uh, so these should start coming in soon I hope and uh, I really like uh, how simplistic this looks here of course I'm not sure about the trees I was experimenting with the trees here I kind of wanna it, it looks nice when you have trees in here at uh, details 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 let me let me try and um, give this a little bit more complete look if uh, something comes up nice 
I'll share it with you momentarily. Well, 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 what do you know? <laughs> Another hopper in uh, wrong, wrong direction. So, yeah, I was checking out why nothing was happening. Apparently, this is why. Oh, well. Oh, well, let's see if this continues as it should because... <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, messing with hoppers is not fun. Hey, I think I think that might do it. I uh, basically uh, kept with minimalization approach. I did start with some indication, but uh, in essence, what I did was basically put a lot of flowers of what's inside around it and some unnatural shape with the um, picture of it on top so we have red tulip pink white orange uh, dandelion which is always uh, should be always yellow um, doesn't distinguish but when i place it somehow sometimes it just goes white maybe my mods uh, maybe my skins um Purple, again, this is bluette and some red poppies. And these are the seeds. Also, what I didn't show you before was this thing. Basically, that's the overflow protection. And uh, what if I put some carpet on it? Ah, probably a bit better, maybe, maybe. So anyway, I've uh, used uh, a few bone milling here and there so it gives us some grass not really a fan of the tall grass though um i'm gonna leave the trees here i kind of grew to like them as they did uh, i've pretty f tried prettifying the portal a little bit however i might change this at some point maybe i'll go and grab some um the taiga wood uh, not birch no 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 uh pretty pretty much um solid trap doors not non-transparent as in non-transparent skin um and place those maybe even uh, dark oak or something um and now that i think about it i never actually went and flew around this so let me attempt to take flight I hope I can take flight easily before before bad stuff happens because I'm not really professional at this. Oh yes, we did take flight. So let me see. All right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Let's see. Well, it does look kind of massive. The clouds are kind of low because because reasons. So this is how it looks from the outside. It does look quite um, in nature, let's say, uh, because everything inside is green and uh, woody, let's say. And uh, this stone block, stone brick just signifies outlines, most likely the, the structure. It's not, I think it's the most non-invasive structure in the uh, uh, nature environment. So, yeah, I kind of like it. I think that's the best, I think that's the best build I've uh, managed to do so far in my Minecraft experience, career and uh, doing, building and playing Minecraft. And I believe we come to an end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did preparing for you. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, bye bye.